the Club Q shooting suspect is claiming to be non-binary. Um, and that is, according to an ex-friend, an attempt to troll the LGBTQ plus community. We talked about last week that the terrorist is facing 305 charges, including specific charges for hate crime. In the course of the arraignment and, you know, the, the carrying over for trial, the attorneys entered in a request to have their client's name and pronouns recognized as non-binary. However, in court last week, the client's attorneys misgendered the client. The judge misgendered the client, and there was no objection. And now one of the former friends, who was a neighbor of the terrorist, comes out and says that basically he'd never talked about, the terrorist had never talked about being non-binary or used they, them pronouns, but instead used homophobic slurs. Now, we all know that sexual orientation and gender are not consistently the, the same thing. They, you know, there may be some overlap in some cases, but not necessarily in all cases. So it's not necessarily true that just because one uses homophobic slurs immediately makes them cisgender. But at the same time, he, the, the, the terrorist had shown no evidence toward being or claiming non-binary status prior to the event. And in the next article, we, we hear that uh, experts are saying to avoid playing that game um, that the suspected shooter is, is trying to play there with the identity. Uh, what is this that they're saying and why have they brought this up? So experts on extremism and online hate have basically come out and said that the individual has posted regularly online in free speech forums that advocate for the killing of other civilians as a way to cleanse society. The suspect invoked uh, non-binary pronouns as a means to get one last in insult at the LGBT community. Race, uh, uh, as, as experts are going through and they're looking at the digital footprint of this individual, they are seeing very little evidence to show there is a consistent history of identification as a non-binary individual. And in fact, it appears that there is an antagonistic history toward the LGBTQ plus community. 